When you have a report designed in HTML format, the HTML interactivity capabilities will allow users to make styling and formatting changes directly to an executed report. So when I execute my report, I can now make my styling changes and formatting changes needed without having to re-execute a report through the database. So while I'm viewing this report, I can now make changes to what I see directly from this view. To do that, for instance, my column of car models is cut off. I can't see the entire model name. So what I can do now is go to the top of the page and use the column width adjusters to borrow room from the columns to either side of my car model. So let me borrow some room here. And then you can see now we can see the entire car model in our column. I could also come over here and let's say I'm interested in a quick view of everything that we've sold that's under $10,000. So I could simply go into my report and I'm just going to highlight, I'll highlight this one here. It's closest to the round number 10,000. I'm going to right click. And then I have some options here. I can apply this formatting or styling change to the entire column. I could apply to equal values. I could apply to greater than, or in this case, I'm going to apply to lesser values. And I am going to bold anything that's less than my selected choice. So. Now you can see anything that's less than 10,219 appears in bold. So that's an easy way to highlight information in a report so that you can quickly view what you're looking for. I could also make a styling change to something like the color of my vehicle. I'm going to say I want to apply this to equal values, and if it's red, I want to see it in red. So I can simply now view my report, and any red colored vehicle will appear in red. So you can see it's very easy now to make changes while viewing the report. You're not running this back through the database to execute it again. You can make these changes while viewing it. If you decide you don't want that change, you have some clearing options up here in the left corner. I can clear all my changes. I can clear just the styling changes, or I could clear my width, column width changes. I can also save these changes. I can save my formatting and styling changes to the existing Insight report. I could make a new version of the report with these styling changes. Or I could even save these changes so that when I execute this report, I'm the only one that will see these styling and formatting changes. So it's not going to make a duplicate copy of the report. So when you go back into your report list, you won't see Insight 2014 two times, but I know that when I log in, since I just saved a user report, when I execute this report anytime in the future, I'm going to see my styling and formatting and column width changes. If Joe ran the report, he would not see those changes because I saved them under my user ID. Now, if I don't want to save them just so I can see them, I always have the option to come back in and delete the user report. It's not going to delete the actual report that's saved in Insight. It's just going to delete the styling and 
formatting changes when I execute the report. So I can delete that and the user report or the styling changes and formatting that I wanted to see would then be deleted. I can also re-execute this report at this point using Excel, RTF or CSV or PDF. And um, when I say re-execute, I don't mean going back and rerunning it through the database. It's simply going to open this report with the styling and formatting changes in another format or output type. So you do have options to save and rerun this view of the report. So those are the HTML interactivity styling and formatting abilities in Insight.